Good morning. So I think we've got um final bit of uh, CSS to fix up for Snippy Pixie GUI. Uh, yes, okay. Fix entire block not getting the passage. Right, this is in the settings page. I'm I'm seeing this, so let's um let's get this up so we can see the problem. Uh, and then uh we'll see if we can fix this. So like that. Let's um Move this over here. So in the settings page, when I'm highlighting these items, I'm rolling over, hovering them, the icon is not going bold, or rather, it's not getting full um, opacity, um, which is a little annoying, it's not quite right. So I've got to fix that here. So I think let's have a look. We've got content. Basically, it's when we're rolling over the content div that we want the icon to also have opacity. Uh, at the moment, we've got content hover here, and it's doing everything has opacity. And then the icon wrapper is working for this bit here when I do it on individual. So what if I extend this? I think I've maybe split it there. I need to have the full I think I need it basically to be more specific and say, okay, when you're hovering over the content, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Oh, it does. Okay. It is weird. Why is that working? But that's not. I guess it kind of sort of does a bit of a reset there. There's nothing here. Oh, of course, yes. All right, so it's the icon class, yes. Okay, yeah. What we're doing is we're busting this. The icon class is where we get the dimmed. Um, and so we need to make sure that the specificity is enough that we are overriding that dimmed. That's the problem, and that's why that's working. Yeah, okay, I understand. Okay, that's good. Right, so that's that fixed. Um, what else have we got? I think we're good everywhere else. I think we've done... We looked at welcome screen and there was nothing to do. So the last thing I've got to do is just bring it up in search and paste mode. Um, and just I just need to do that. Make sure that's okay. That's what I want. I decided to keep the primary color while you're selecting there. And then we have the green of a focus, which is a highlight. Yeah, I like that. I think that's okay. And then you know that's an action button, basically. It means we have a little bit less green because I'm not super keen on the green, even though it is Nord. Okay, can't save anything there, so that's good, it's just dimmed. And then if I put stuff in here, and here it comes live and it's blue. 
and then that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I still think maybe I might need to bring these up into like a title, uh, a toolbar, and get them away from there. But anyway, let's um, let's now check. Now I don't think I can run well dev with arguments, can I? Can't do like search and paste. No. Is it possible? Does it say anything about doing that? Oh, there you go. App args. Arguments to pass to the underlying app. Quoted and space separated. Okay. That's good to know. All right, so I should be able to do this. App arcs. Okay. Uh, hello. Hmm. That didn't work. What happened? Oh. It's taken off the dash there. Interesting. It interpreted it. So let's double check this by single quotes. Hmm. Interesting. That feels like a bug to me. What if I do something daft like this? Interesting. Yeah, understood it then. So if I use the shorthand, Still doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. No, that needs to be updated, so let's quickly do that. I have to look into that because that's a bit weird. So what I was trying to do was the equivalent of this. Which gets the, the window with the shortcuts and no buttons. Hmm. So I wonder if that's a bug in Wales. I might have to investigate that. Okay. 
Right, so just a quick check of this to make sure the CSS is okay. Looks to be okay. If I do that, it's fine. And if I do shift and enter, there's not a lot here. It does the thing. That's good. Uh, while I'm here, what I'll do is let's uh, have I got a have I got an export? Okay. Right, so I'll be able to import. So let's just remove the database. Bring the uh, daemon back up. And then do search and paste. That's fine. There's nothing to do. Nothing I can do about that. Okay. And if I bring, if I just do the main one now. In dev mode. It's got the highlight in as well. Good. That has two. That's fine. I wonder if maybe that should be a bit brighter. But it kind of works. And then I should be able to do import snippets. I do need to do a little bit more with this, but that's fine. I think it's okay. I think that's it updated. I think I'm happy with the way the CSS is working there. I've got more, um, well, more standard Nord coloring now, which means that when I come to do the light version, it should be a little bit easier, hopefully. Okay, I think I'm done with that. I can't think that I've got anything else to do on the CSS there. I do need to take out the to do. That's okay. It's fine. I uh, didn't miss anything here. So I can take them out. I didn't use them in the end. I'm happy with it being just bright for the moment. It's easier to do the light version if I have standard colors. Okay. Job done. Let's commit that.
I can't spell. What's that? Consistent. What did I miss there? Consist. Oh, I was right. I was doing it. Okay. So update colors to use Nord theme more consistently. That's fine. And push. Okay. I think I'll um I think I'll finish this video just here, um, because that finishes off that little series doing the uh, CSS updates. Um and then I'll um I think about what I need to do next for the next one because we're getting very close to the end. I think I need to do things like making sure the search and paste works properly and we have the date based the uh, last updated updated yeah okay so i'll do that next but for the meantime um we'll keep this one short and sweet uh so thanks for watching uh, until next time take care bye